the way paint works is it mirrors or reflects, you know, whatever the surface below it is. So, you know, it starts with the preppers. And in the painting world, uh, most people aren't really using gel coat. It's a really durable, hard shell that we're painting over at that point, too. Some of those areas have to be just flat. So they'll block everything down and uh, they'll take you know, their straight edges and scales and they'll measure everything out, make sure we've, you know, everything's within the tolerance and standards that Will's not even set. I mean, a lot of hand work and time goes into to doing that. And then after they've prepped it, you know, they blow it all off and blow it out. They'll wipe the uh, product and the enclosure off and get it as clean as they can get it and then uh, it waits to come in the paint booth. Once I get the booth loaded up, you know, I'll blow it off, you know, then we have what's called a tack rag. It's just really sticky and it'll just start to pull up any, uh, any dust or anything that's, you know, caught up in the, uh, in the side of the enclosure. And then after that, one more time with the uh, air hose, we'll blow everything off, and then uh, we're ready to start. One of the purpose of the sealers is just to get everything kind of a solid, uniform color. The other and one of the main purposes of the sealer is just it helps bond the paint to the gel or the substrate. So it's really creating a barrier, and then it's bonding the two together. We'll put the first coat of base on. It's, that's where everything pretty much happens. And after that, you know, I'll go back over and we'll look over each each individual piece, you know, every surface. And you know, that's kind of what drives me is, you know, as you know, we're painting, you know, we're constantly changing our technique and that just to improve the process. Cause, it gets down to just a small little change, you know, the air pressure or how much you know, fluid we're putting out of the gun or, you know, the distance from the enclosure can suddenly make a big difference in what the finish and the outcome will be, so. And then I'll put the second coat of base on. And usually, the time I put the second coat on, it's pretty much there. And once, once we're done with the base coat, We'll come back in, we'll put uh, three coats of clear on there. Everything can be done just a little bit better, you know, so it's just constantly trying to improve and take it to the next level. So, I mean, there's a level of quality and a standard there that, you know, we have here at Wilson Audio, I think. Uh, you know, our guys, you know, it's like, we don't want just a nice speaker, we want it to be beautiful. I mean, the absolute, you know, and they know that if they do it right, and it comes in here and gets painted, I mean, the end result is just, you know, it's a work of art.